Oh. Welcome, Nicole. You got no idea how excited and happy I am that you are here as a PMP boss. <laughs> how do you Ooh. feel? Talk to us. Talk to us. How are you feeling? Ooh. <laughs> I'm just relieved, elated. Um, I'm still like in shock, <laughs> you know. <sighs> wow, what a the weight what a, is lifted. <laughs> what a journey! What a journey, Nicole. So, Thank first you. of all, why don't you tell us a little bit about why you wanted to do this? Who 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 gave you the idea? How did you find out about it? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean. When I started with Chase a few years ago, I, I was new to like the whole project space. This was just like four years ago. And um, I worked on a project uh, when I started there. And then I went into BAU and I'm like, I like the project space. Hmm. And um, I never had any experience. So I wanted to find out more what you to do to get the experience for project management, get certified. So I talked to a few of the PMs there and some were certified, some had their MBAs. So I, I just kept, I stayed in BAU. I didn't try to pursue it until when the pandemic hit. After the pandemic hit, I, I wanted to um, really just pursue my dreams. I think a lot of people had that realization, like you gotta just go after your dreams, pursue them um, no matter what, cause life is short. So back in October of 2021, I, I took a course at a well-known university and it was like a four week course and expected you to be ready to take the PMP at that point. And I wasn't prepared after that course. Um, and mainly because I only had like four months or so of project experience. Hmm. Um, so I came across your videos, Phil, like in November, 2021. And I love the way you were able to explain things, make it clear, plain English, and relatable. So from there, I started watching your videos and following you. And then I didn't really take the immersion course with you until, I think, April of 2022. So I felt like I was like all over the place just with my time and concentration and focus of studying. I took a break, a few months break. And I jumped back on with your immersion course, which um, that really helped me to get back on track and all your coaching and encouragement you know I just really thank you for that thank you thank you Nicole so I'm glad to hear that you found that this would be helpful in terms of PMP what is your role in the company you work for what's your title yeah so I'm officially a project manager and um, that's my official title and um, I'm in an agile environment and I really want to, I wanted to learn more about Agile. I wanted to really just build my foundational understanding of project management. Mm. So that's why, you know, I decided to jump back into immersion, jump back into watching your videos and just get that under my belt, you know, prove to everybody, you know, I don't have as much PM experience as everybody else on the team. Um, but I, you know, I know what I'm doing. So this really solidified that. <laughs> Absolutely. There's nothing like it. I'm telling you, it's a direct passport to, to street cred. Uh, you know, people see it and they don't even want to hear anything else. They're like, okay, she's gone through the rites of passage next, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well done. So let's talk <laughs> about your exam. You yeah. went to a test center, right? Yes, I went to a test center, and I apologize for my connection. For some reason, I'm having a bad connection today. Uh, we can we can hear you. It's coming through. Okay, it's coming through. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about that. Yeah, it's coming through. Mm -hmm. So I, I remember I was I uh, saying, Nicole, you need to go check out the test center and all that. Yeah. <laughs> Did you check I, it out? I couldn't go the night before. I was just too tired, and I knew I, it was at 12 noon in the middle of the day. So I said, let me get there by 9 o'clock. And it was only 20 minutes away. So I got there early. I went inside. I made sure this is the right room, right location. And then I went out. Uh, you know, I went to the mall. I cleared my mind. I went to get something to eat. Good. I listened to like one video before I went back in. Just your mindset video because I just felt like I partially wasn't prepared. And I felt like I need your encouragement. I needed to hear your voice. 
<laughs> um, so I listened to the mindset video and that helped to ease my fears. And I just went in there and, you know, tackled it. Wow. Wow. So the first question comes up and what are you feeling? What are you thinking? How Was it what you expected? Was it different? Just walk us through. Yeah. So um, I, you know, I just have to give thanks to God and all the prayers <laughs> for everybody that supported <laughs> me and prayed for me. First of all, um, it wasn't as, I wouldn't say, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. And I think it's because I went through a lot of your practice questions, a lot of practice um, Q and A's to quizzes and tests. And I think that helped prepare me for the type of questions I was getting. And some of the questions were crazy, mm -hmm. but they they weren't like out of this world where I, I couldn't figure it out. Some some of them, I mean, almost all of them, I didn't know the answer, but I just was like, oh my gosh, I have to go back and remember the mindset, mm -hmm. the agile principles, team first, communication, uh, putting the customer first, just the basic principles and foundations. I had to go back and, and um, clear my mind and just remember that when I'm tackling each answer, each question. So that's what really helped me. So it, it was hard. It was hard, but I don't think it was the level of difficulty where I thought it was going to be like out of this world crazy. Mm. You know what I mean? <laughs> that is very comforting. And I'm sure people on the call are happy to hear that, that it doesn't always have to be the worst experience that you get. You know, you got mm -hmm. an experience that you felt was manageable now i know you you played with our mock exam a couple of times and you, mm -hmm. it was heavy our mock exam really goes into people process business but it mm -hmm. has quite a lot of process emphasis would you say that helped in the long run to get a handle on stuff definitely definitely the process piece has helped me um to um understand a lot of the questions because i felt like a lot of the questions were in a sense, um, most of them were process related. Even if I wasn't in that section, it had to do with something with a process. Mm. So I wasn't sure what section I was in most of the time because I felt like the questions were all structured around uh, you know, processes, managing the team, managing stakeholders, ensuring that you're pushing the, pro the, the project forward or removing impediments like throughout the whole thing. So I, I did get, you know, the agile questions, but it was all about moving the project forward, uh, relating that flow of the process through um, and just managing expectations as a PM. Gotcha, gotcha. Cool. Let's talk to our friends because I know they're itching. I don't want to hug the phone. Have you got questions specifically that you would like Nicole to address for you? Question. Someone doesn't like PMP. It's like, mom, enough. I don't want to know more PMP. That's enough. You can do it, guys. You can do it. The immersion course, Bill's coaching, that last coaching you did with us last week to just... Um, help us prepare and like focus on what to read because like I said I was all over the place mm. and just having your guidance is like you know this is what you got to focus on this should be your aim your make sure your mindset knows the flows from process the agile processes through predictive processes like integrate them and know the flows and I think that really helped me to get by that's that's good to know yeah good to know all right, friends, questions for Nicole. Do you want to uh, put your question in the chat or just unmute and ask? And Hi, Nicole. Hey. It's Cynthia. Hey, um, congratulations. Thank um, you. <laughs> I knew you would pass, actually, but um, I find it interesting that you're, um, I just want to make sure I'm hearing you right. You were saying that for many questions, you weren't quite sure what the right answer was and were you doing like process of elimination first yeah I was, yeah I was doing process of elimination I didn't do that in the beginning and you know I just started to get a little flustered and I mean I mean like by just crossing out I use the, the tool where you can strike through 
And I think that really helped me. And then, you know, just getting down to the last two choices, I was sure I'm like, okay, on um, some of them, it just was like, I just got to pick one. I don't know what I'm picking, but I just got to pick one. So, um, you know, but all the training and the background really helped me. And I just, I really struggled. <laughs> I really struggled. If I was more, you know, like I said, not all over the place with my studying, stopping studying, thinking back a few weeks later, thinking back a few months later, if I was consistent, I think I would have done a lot better. But, but um, I did, like I said, I did go back from Phil's course and the practice questions the week, that weekend before I took the test and his coaching. And I really think that helped me with the mindset. I just kept saying mindset, okay. mindset. <laughs> did, did you have any trouble finishing? finishing the test every question no oh my gosh Phil thank you for um helping me with uh, you know pacing myself because that's exactly what I did I paced myself and through each section I knew exactly how much time I had uh, and how much time I had left um and then um for a lot of the ones where you know I wasn't sure on I just made my best guess and flagged it and came back to it so at the end of each section I literally had like 15 or more questions flagged wow yeah I had to flag them I'm like okay but I was able to the questions I guess they weren't as long as I thought you know three or four sentences of paragraphs so I was able to read it fast I had to read it again <laughs> And then pick the best answer. If I wasn't sure, if I didn't know it at all, I picked something and flagged it and I came back to it. And I had time because I was pacing myself. It was all about pacing myself, pacing myself. So I had time, except for the last section, I only had like four minutes, three or four minutes to review the 15 questions I flagged. Mm. But it was enough time. And it, it, I just went back through it and I said, you know what? I did the right answer. I used my gut pick the right answer the first time I was gonna leave it and I only changed like two or three questions good at, good. at the most I mean that's the way to do it yeah mm -hmm. yeah all right we had a question from Carice can you talk about the drag and drop and did they give you an equal number of options to match you know like you can have yes. five and then four and they, they it's harder no. when they give you more so that's what she's asking no or did they provide I had questions equal equal? Number. Mm -hmm. oh you had equal I had an equal number, thank goodness. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then because of the time, you know, timing myself, I just those drag and drops, I didn't go back and read through it because, you know, you're gonna have five selections where you gotta read through, analyze it. And I was like, you know what? I flagged it, but I'm just gonna pass. Mm. I made my best guesses and I'm not gonna go back and change anything. <laughs> that was smart. That was smart. Mm -hmm. So we've got some standard questions, standard questions in the slide deck. And we got to we got to tout around the PMP behind your name anyway. So, uh, any excuse to do that now? <laughs> Thank you. So let's let's go through some of our standard questions. Some of our standard questions are around knowledge areas. What are your impressions now about knowledge areas? Yeah, you have to know the knowledge areas. Um, there's no getting around that, unfortunately. And um, I'm still not. I, I don't say I've mastered a lot of the inputs and outputs, but I know the flow of the knowledge areas, like, you know, which one is supposed to come first and high level, you know, the four key areas, you know, you're going to focus on scope, schedule, cost. So I kind of knew those a little better. I studied those a little bit more, but you got to, you got to know. <laughs> the, so you, the flow, you, didn't, high level. you didn't skip it. Yeah. So you did know the flow. That's the bottom line, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good, good. Okay. Yeah. So let's talk about any of these study tips that you might have. First of all, I know you didn't get formulas, right? No formulas. No, thank goodness. And the brain dump. It. People that say do a brain dump, I know the brain dump is not as valuable because you've already got it registered, right? Kind of the flow in your head, as opposed to drawing out the table for page 25. Yeah, I started to do that last night and I was so tired. I was like, I'm getting this wrong. <laughs> I'm just going to, I'm just going to forget it and just know, go with what I already know, you mm -hmm. know, high level, what makes sense logically. So um, that's what I did. You got you. Good, good. Okay. Awesome. And let's talk about the, uh, 
the common one, the people process business. Now I know for a fact that you read the immersion book and you were very mm -hmm. instrumental in the very beginnings of the immersion book. So I wasn't really worried about you covering people process business, but do you want to uh, give us any reflections, you know, in hindsight, what are some of the things that you might have done well that helped you on your attempt today in these domains? Because you you did good on all the domains, you know, there wasn't any you struggled with. So what did you do uh, with the immersion book and how do you think that helped you? Yes. So um, I did go back for your immersion book and I looked through some of the uh, quizzes in each section. I didn't get to cover each um, section, each quiz, but I went through that and I tested my knowledge. I'm like, okay, I already know that. I already know this. Let me go to the test in the back of the book and pick a few questions and see what my uh, knowledge level is. So I felt comfortable when I went back through again, uh, except for process. I totally bombed the process hmm. <laughs> on your exam on your exam in the back of the book. But your online quiz or test, I think I did okay in yeah, process. Yeah, you did, and you did yeah. you did it. You did it until you you felt comfortable, which is good. I always tell people use what you paid for instead of um, not using it, and you did use it, which is yes. highly commendable. Now, we, we have some other questions that people normally ask, Nicole, and one of them is, did you read the pen book guide? But I'm not worried about that because you read the immersion book, right, which has yeah. a lot of that stuff. So how many hours do you did you study daily leading up, like, one week to the exam? One week to the exam, I would say, like, uh, two hours. I had the weekly study session with Tracy. And I would say about two hours, you know, after I put the kids to bed, I would, um, the, la the last week I would take about two hours every night, but I was tired, mm. you know? So wow. um, what I did, I think that really helped me. I took, the I took Friday off. Mm. So I had all of Friday to study. And then Saturday also, I had half the day to study on Saturday as well. Good, good. All right. We got a question here. What would you do differently? Yes, I would definitely, you know, it's hard as a working mom. <laughs> it's hard, yeah. And I don't have a lot of help in the evening because my husband has a different schedule than I do sometimes. Um, but I would just say, don't start and stop. Just keep going. <laughs> because, you know, you stop, you take a break, you go on vacation, like I did a few times. And I'm like, okay, let me take an extra week off. And I come back and it's like, I got to catch up. I got to, I would say, just pace yourself, keep going and um, just push through and take the exam. You know, you don't have to feel like you know everything 100% to take it. Um, I would say, just go, go, for, go for it. <laughs> just do it. So we have yeah. a question here from Kareem. Did you take any of the 180 question mock exams? Yes. Phil? Yes, I took Phil's mock exam. Phil, you're going to kill me because I had to take a screenshot of it and print it out. <laughs> and I was going through it. Um, and I, you know, on my lunch break here and there, whenever I had time at work, I would do that. And I think that's really helped me. Um, and even this weekend, um, I went back through your 180 questions. Mm. And I was like, you know, I know I did well on this. I think I'm good. So I didn't worry about it too much. Um, the day before, you know, I said, I already know Phil's exam. I'm going to go back through his immersion book and I'm going to go through the back of the page, those three pages. Yeah, in the, back. the last three. So yeah. I re yeah, I reviewed that again. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to have to go for it. I can't keep procrastinating. <laughs> that was good, Nicole. I'm really excited. Thank you so much for coming to speak to us in your, the middle of your busy schedule. I really appreciate it. And I know that you're meeting with Trace. And mm -hmm. I'll just keep asking if you're meeting with Trace and there's anyone else who wants to join in, can they join in and join of you course. folks whenever? Yeah, right. yeah. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep posting the study um uh the study schedule on your immersion. Uh, gotcha. Immersion page, yes. Thank you so much. And yeah. Are you going to post a cele cele uh, celebratory post on LinkedIn? I did already. Oh, you did? <laughs> okay. I was just getting ready to ask the same question. <laughs> yeah, I did. Okay, we're going, did. To, we're going to come in there and congratulate you and give you some support. Thank you. Good stuff. Yes, Thank please you so much. Me on LinkedIn 
And Phil, Absolutely. I can't thank you enough again for the time that you've invested in your students. You really, wow. truly care about our success. Thank and you. And you've gone above and beyond. And I really thank you for that. Without that, I don't know if I would have even made it through this exam. Wow. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you, thank you Nicole. So thank God you. Bless you. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate that. All right. Any other questions? I think we're done. Go enjoy your evening. You know, I'm sorry to have to drag you in here on the very day you got certified, but I'm our friends to needed to hear. Help. No, I will keep popping in. I'll continue to help where I can and uh, celebrate. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you, Nicole. All Thanks right. So much. All right. Take care. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks. All right. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and end the recording.